Okay, welcome back to the Whitetail Ski Patrol again. Another great, great Saturday morning here. We got a lot of activity on the mountain. We have the Maryland uh, Special Olympics training here today, and uh, a lot of a lot of folks are going to come to take care of the uh, or take advantage of the great snow conditions that we have. But um, more importantly, we're here for another edition of Meet the Whitetail Ski Patrol, and we're talking to Joe Fister today. Joe Fister has been a ski patroller since 2011, and he's, he's done a lot in the, the four or five years he's been here at Whitetail. And, and Joe, just, just talk about um, you know, how much fun and, and the experience you've had since you've become a patroller here at Whitetail. Uh, well, to be honest, it exceeded my expectations. I really didn't know what uh, I was going to experience. But beyond the uh, primary training that we go through, it's really great to get out here and interact with the guests. They really like it when they can talk to us and, you know, have us help them out. I mean, the mountain is great. Um, we get a lot of support for our work here as well. Uh, it's probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. Now, Joe has done more than just just a rank and file ski patroller. He's been involved with the uh, the White House Ski Patrol Council. He's an elected official there, and he also is heavily involved in the outdoor emergency care training that every ski patroller has to go through their, through their candidate year. And and Joe, why not just be a patroller? Why do you think you had to go that extra mile and kind of give back um, to the patrol in, in the ways that you've done? Well, that's a great question. Um, my fiber is that you know I like to give back. I, I you know I. I like to do more than, than just be a part of a group. I feel that I can, you know, help make a difference. And that's why uh, I joined the uh, council and uh, really why I also joined to, to be uh, uh, one of the OEC instructors. You know, it's because to bring candidates along, they really need to have uh, work with people that have experience and can take our real life experiences and bring them into the classroom. And that helps them to be really better patrollers. And I think it's definitely evident uh, when they get here on the mountain. And I hear it a lot from our fellow patrollers about how good these candidates are when we bring them back here and release them. Now you touched on a, a, an interesting note there. We've talked in editions past that it is a long process for a candidate. It is a long one year or, or maybe longer commitment. But how do you make the class when they're meeting every Friday night um, in the summer and, and in the fall, how do you make the class fun and energetic so those guys want to come back and want to continue the program? And that's a great question because they start in uh, the end of April and by the time you finish S&T, it's, it's probably the end of the season here, almost a year's worth of training. Uh, well, we have really great instructors and yeah, it's really hard work. Uh, it's really demanding. The, the instructors have very high standards, but we also try to break things up. You know, we, you know, sometimes we'll just have some fun and, you know, we'll let them blow off a little bit of steam. Uh, usually after Friday nights, we'll go and have a couple beers, just kind of chitty chat. Once we get into the fall and we get them up one of the mountain, it's a different venue. There we can have a lot more fun and bake that right into uh, their, their training exercises as well. So it's not, you know, just push, push, push. We try to make it fun and, and laugh at their mistakes and laugh at our own mistakes as well because we make gaffes too, you know. But, you know, that's what we try to do, you know, so they have fun. Now, you're not just a trainer. You're a ski patroller, and you're out here giving back to the community in, in the ski industry in other ways. How much fun do you have a patroller, and what motivates you to, to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and make the trek up here to, to Whitetail to, to get back on your skis? I like working with people. So, obviously, I'm a patroller because I like to ski, but I really like people in everything I do and this gives me an opportunity to work with people get to know people in the outdoors you meet all kinds you know some people they ask you questions about what you're doing or how to get around the mountain sometimes you talk to people in different uh, walks of life and and that's really neat too to see what other people are doing and then what brings them to the mountain and that's 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 a whole lot of fun and I'll, and I then of course enjoy telling them what, about whitetail where can they go where can where can they get help for those sort of things and sometimes I'll I'll lead them around say hey you want to follow me and you know they'll make a couple runs with me and they really appreciate that kind of stuff and talking about all walks of life that you see here to ski here just uh, what is your background where, what industry do you come from and um, just talk about you know how, how you got here well, I work in the information technology background, 
and I've probably been doing that for 30 years. And how I ended up here, uh, I've been skiing much longer than that, and to be honest, I was getting bored. Only so many times you can go up and down a lift, right? So I happened to see a sign one day that said you guys were looking for a few good men, and I volunteered, and uh, the rest is very pleasant history. Now it's early in the morning here. We're just we're just getting started, and I took a uh, a quick run over on far side, and and the snow is it's unreal over there. I'm, I can't wait to go back over there. What what runs have you skied today, and what's your favorite run here at Whitetail? My favorite run at Whitetail is Fanciful, especially in the morning. Um, but a lot of times I hang over off the easy lift, uh, you know, snow park, uh, sidewinder, stalker. And the reason I hang out over there is it's a lot more guests over there. I get a much better opportunity to meet with guests and help them out. All right, again, we're here talking to Joe Fister and talk about his experiences as a whitetail ski patroller and his experiences as an outdoor emergency care um, provider and instructor for the Canada class. And just a reminder, our ski evaluation is coming up the Sunday after President's Day. So if you're interested in becoming a whitetail ski patroller, um, come up to uh, come up to the mountain, get a hold of us, and we'll tell you how to get involved and get started in uh, becoming a whitetail ski patroller. Again, um, stay tuned for other editions of uh, Meet the Whitetail Ski Patrol.